It's a race to get more shots into more arms to protect against these new faster spreading variants. This week, the mass vaccination hubs are opening up in Southeast Texas. Port Arthur's Clinic at the Civic Center opens tomorrow. And today, leaders in Hardin County open Lumberton ISD's Performing Arts Center. 12 News reporter Amelia White spent the day in Lumberton witnessing the relief that folks were feeling after receiving that long awaited shot of hope. Today wasn't just about getting the shot of hope. For Southeast Texans like Carl Price, it was one step closer to seeing a familiar face again. I'm hoping to get around and see my granddaughter a little more, <laughs> you know. And, and he's not the only one missing a loved one. I haven't seen my dad in over a year, and I'd love to go visit him. He's in Pennsylvania, and now I feel safe. Safe thanks to Hardin County kicking off their second mass vaccination clinic this morning. So professional and so easy and just... Perfect. Cole Hoffer received her vaccination at Lumberton ISD Performing Arts Center. They have to already be registered. We do not do walk-ins. Meaning those who fell under the appropriate phase groups and registered on the county's wait list were the only folks allowed to get their shot. Our goal is to get 300 a day. That would be Monday through Friday. In total, the goal is 1,500 first doses by this Friday for the site. Really, it's just working with the hub now. Um, we want to get as many people vaccinated as quickly as possible. Although COVID-19 has altered the way we go about our day-to-day -day lives. Yeah, we changed our schedule drastically for the last 12 months, really. Carl and Sally Smith are hoping this shot can bring them closer to familiar faces they love. And uh, we're, ready, we're ready to get back to normal, see family, have big groups again and all that kind of stuff. So. Now, county officials want to make it very clear. You must fall under the 1A or 1B phase group and sign up for the vaccine wait list in order to get vaccinated. If you have any additional questions or concerns, you can reach out to your local officials. In Beaumont, Amelia White, 12 News.